I'm going to direct you today to my favorite part of the battle. And what I'm challenging you to do is to read chapter 11 today of Revelation. See, in chapter 11 of Revelation, we get introduced to two people that we don't even know their names. They are the witnesses. And literally, they come out and anybody that's going against them, they can consume with fire. Because they're there to share who the Lord is and what is coming in eternity. But see, a beast then rises up and literally takes both these guys out. And they lay there for three and a half days and nobody wants anything to do with them. They don't want to pick them up. They don't want to bury them. They don't want to do anything with them. They just leave them there. And then something happens. And literally they come back to life and they are met then in the cloud where God brings them up and everyone is there to see. All their enemies, everybody who's against it, everyone who's made fun of them, everyone who's put them down, all different kinds of religions that don't lead to eternity over and over and over against these two guys. And literally God meets those witnesses in the clouds, which is the same thing that happens in the final prophecy. See, when Jesus comes back for us, and you can read this in John chapter 14, Jesus promised us that he will meet us as a believer, that he will meet with us and he will take us to heaven. And heaven is not heaven without Jesus. And as a believer, heaven is not heaven without you, without me, knowing that we have that promise. Read chapter 11 tonight. It is a fantastic read, and there's a lot that is going on. Dive into it as you dive into the book of Revelation. And tomorrow, we'll end with a final rest principle on this book. We'll see you then.